In a world that often prioritizes harmony and sympathy, the notion of not always being gentle may seem counterintuitive. Yet Buddhism presents a nuanced perspective on relationships and discernment that goes beyond superficial politeness. The profound teachings of the Buddha encourage finding a middle way between extremes of indulgence and austerity. Buddhism recognizes that true wisdom requires balance. We should seek neither to be excessively soft nor overly harsh with others. The Buddha's insights provide a framework for cultivating compassion alongside healthy boundaries. This exploration of key Buddhist principles offers insight into skillfully navigating human interactions. A fundamental teaching in Buddhism is the middle way, which involves avoiding extremes and finding moderation between indulgence and austerity. The Buddha himself pursued ascetic practices early in his spiritual journey, depriving himself of food, shelter and comforts in search of enlightenment. However, he ultimately realized that this severe austerity was an extreme that did not lead to wisdom. After abandoning asceticism, he sat under the Bodhi tree and entered a state of deep meditation, free from extremes. This allowed him to achieve nirvana and become the Buddha. The principle of the middle way guided all his subsequent teachings. Being universally or excessively gentle and indulgent with others could be seen as an extreme. The middle way suggests we should balance compassion with healthy boundaries and discernment. In our interactions, we can aim to avoid the extremes of being either passive and overly soft or aggressive and hurtful. With mindful moderation, we can determine when kindness requires gentleness and when wisdom suggests a firmer approach. The middle way allows us to integrate both compassion and discernment. One insightful parable the Buddha shared highlights the importance of letting go once something has fulfilled its purpose. A man crossing a vast river constructed a makeshift raft out of materials at hand. With this raft, he skillfully navigated the difficult waters and arrived safely on the other shore. However, instead of carrying the raft onwards on land, the man left it behind on the riverbank, understanding its purpose had been served. Similarly, the Buddha compared his teachings to a raft meant to transport us across the challenging waters of suffering. Gentleness, forgiveness, and compassion can help us navigate relational difficulties and achieve harmony, just as the raft aids safe passage over rough waters. However, we must discern when clinging to these principles hinders further growth. With skill and wisdom, we can determine when to let go of excessive softness and change course, just as the man did not cling to his raft once he reached dry land. A central teaching in Buddhism is that all compounded or conditioned phenomena are subject to impermanence. Nothing remains exactly the same forever. Our relationships, emotions, possessions, and even our lives are in a constant state of flux. Given this reality of change, any attempt to rigidly maintain any one state or way of being is ultimately futile. Rather than clinging to a permanent sense of who we are or how we interact with others, Buddhism encourages the cultivation of equanimity. Equanimity means maintaining an even-minded balance regardless of whatever changes occur around us or within us. By developing equanimity, we remain adaptable and able to respond flexibly to each situation as it arises. With equanimity, we can act with either compassion or discernment in any given moment, as the circumstances require, rather than clinging to a single fixed approach. Equanimity allows us to navigate the always shifting landscape of life with grace. One poignant Buddhist parable teaches that suffering is a universal and unavoidable aspect of human life. When a distraught mother begs the Buddha to revive her deceased child, he tells her to collect a mustard seed from any household that has not been visited by death. As she searches, the mother finds no household untouched by loss. She realizes the universality of suffering and returns to the Buddha with greater insight. While excessive gentleness and sympathy may provide some consolation, they cannot permanently erase suffering. Buddhism teaches that rather than merely placating pain, we must address the existential root of suffering directly. The Buddha's teachings aim to engender a profound understanding of impermanence and equanimity. These principles provide a sense of meaning and inner purpose that remains steady even amid the tumultuous waters of life. 
Buddhism offers wisdom and solace, more enduring than gentleness alone. Buddhism emphasizes the principle of skillful means, or upaya in Sanskrit. This refers to adapting our approach flexibly based on the specific circumstances and individuals involved in any situation. Skillful means recognize that people have different needs and backgrounds. What is appropriate in one context may not be suitable in another. Through insight and experience, we can determine when unconditional gentleness is called for and when wisdom suggests that boundaries or a more discerning approach is necessary. Skillful means allow use to set compassionate boundaries, address challenging behaviors, and guide others towards positive change. With flexibility and discernment, we can select the most constructive course of action, motivated by care, while avoiding enabling behaviors that lead to harm. Skillful means help us act with both compassion and wisdom. Another key Buddhist principle is right speech, which emphasizes mindful and ethical communication. Right speech involves being truthful and honest without falling into aggression or hurtfulness. It means avoiding gossip, spiteful speech and divisive words, but also not obfuscating, placating or making false promises. Right speech allows us to address issues or set boundaries with compassion by carefully considering the impact of our words. We can communicate difficult truths when required in a sensitive way. However, right speech does not mean unconditional gentleness if that enables unwholesome behavior to persist. With skillful discernment, we can determine when gentle speech is appropriate versus when wisdom and care require more direct communication. Practicing right speech allows us to mindfully navigate human relationships in a spirit of thoughtfulness, integrity, and benevolence. The Brahma Viharas are four divine qualities that Buddhism encourages cultivating. Loving kindness, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. While the first three speak to important virtues of care, gentleness, and sympathy, equanimity balances these qualities. An excess of sympathetic traits like unconditional kindness could inadvertently enable unskillful behaviors or lead to sacrificing one's own well-being. Equanimity provides the wisdom to discern when compassion requires setting boundaries or saying no with care. It provides emotional balance amid the oops and downs of life's fluctuations. Equanimity sustains our own inner peace, preventing burnout or resentment even when dealing with difficulty. With equanimity complementing loving-kindness, compassion and joy, we can nurture relationships built on wisdom, empathy and mutual growth. The Brahma Viharas remind us to have a boundless heart while also cultivating discernment. Through this holistic approach, we can spread compassion while encouraging spiritual maturity along the path. The Buddha outlined the Noble Eightfold Path as the way to realize spiritual liberation. While being soft, gentle and agreeable may seem virtuous, the Eightfold Path calls on deeper principles of ethical conduct, mental cultivation and wisdom. Simply placating others or avoiding conflict at all costs risks enabling ignorance and suffering. The path instead requires skillfully applying different tools as circumstances require. Wisdom and integrity are needed to complement kindness. For example, right speech means abstaining from falsehoods as well as harshness. Right action prohibits killing but also requires protecting life. The Eightfold Path highlights the Buddhist emphasis on understanding and living by truths beyond surface politeness. With skillful means and an open heart, we can determine when wisdom necessitates communicating difficult truths compassionately. Following this path means embracing justice and virtue alongside gentleness. The Buddha's profound teachings reveal that true compassion requires wisdom and discernment, not just gentleness. While softness and sympathy have their place, Buddhism prescribes finding balance through the middle way. With skillful means, right speech and equanimity, we can determine when gentleness is appropriate and when boundaries are needed. The Buddhist path cultivates enduring wisdom and virtue that go beyond fleeting politeness. By living with compassion tempered by insight, we can embody the Buddha's principles in relationships and all aspects of life. The middle way allows us to integrate gentle care for others with inner strength and discernment. 